In this video, my friend, we are going to find editing Zen. We're going to go from this messy timeline to this. Look at that timeline. It is, do you feel calmer? Do you feel more creative? You might not. There's a couple of little tricks in here worth learning. Before, after, before, after. All right, let me actually just show you. All right, to find that uh, happy place for editing, uh, I'm going to show you one new thing and then we'll combine a few of the things that we've done previously. So uh, at the moment I have got a bunch of different tracks, okay? This is a small job and I've ended up only using two of my tracks, okay? It's really common for a small job. For bigger jobs, I don't know, you end up using like all 10 and keep adding them. But um, let's say, I'm gonna zoom out so I can see what I've got. Who remembers the shortcut? Like pop quiz, shortcut of shrinking all the tracks. You don't remember, do you? It's shift minus, okay? That'll get it all the way small, shift plus, all the way big. Shift minus, I've got all this stuff I'm not using. Same with an extra audio track, you might have loads more. So let's clean it all up. To do it, you right click in this kind of like random gray area, okay? Any of these ones, okay? This random gray area has useful stuff. Premiere Pro does some weird things. So just any here, right click, okay? And you don't want to delete track, because that'll just delete the track. We want to delete tracks, plural. Click on that. There's an option in here that says delete, uh, delete all empty tracks audio and video. So let's click OK. Look at that. Whew, nice and clean. All right, that's phase one of our editing Zen. Okay, phase two is let's get uh, our, this is really opinionated. You can, I'm going to show you all the things you can do. You get it how you want and then we'll save a preset. Okay, so um, we've got a lots of bunch of icons in here. Okay, and if I make them a little bit bigger, let's say that I do, I'm going to use a shortcut. Remember, it's command plus, okay, to go in and out a little bit. Okay, um, shift to go the full Monty. So I'm gonna to go to say something like that. That feels nice and manageable for my screen. Okay, but there's some icons in here. I'm like, I don't use that. <laughs> okay, uh, sync lock. You learned it in the earlier video, be like, I'm not gonna use it. Let's just make a tidy version. And like, I don't use the eyeball enough. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're gonna right click in this gray area again. We're gonna to go to customize. And this is really weird. If you've ever tried to um, change this, you might not have, but uh, it can be really weird. So what we wanna do is I wanna move the eyeball, like it will always show this top line. So if you don't wanna see it on this top line, you need to move it down. So you go, mm. yeah. <laughs> you can't drag it down. You've got to drag the icon version of it down to the next line. Okay, and you're like, that seems weird. It totally is. You'll get baffled a little bit, but just know that you have to act, you know, have to operate this thing to change it. Okay, so you're like, okay, video. I like the video. It's called V1, okay, with track name. And let's say that I do wanna, I want that up here, okay, because it's part of my Zen. I, well, you don't do it up there. <laughs> I get confused too. I want that there. And you're like, sync lock. I want it around, but let's say that I just don't, oh man. <laughs> so drag it down here. So this is gonna be like a mini version. That's a slightly bigger version, and this is when it's fully open, and you can start seeing keyframes uh, down here. So this seems like a really good use for it. If you're totally lost, hit reset, <laughs> and forget I said anything. Okay, so let's click OK. So it just means that when it's bigger, you can see it all, but when it's at the like minimal view, okay, the view that you like, you're like, oh, that's nice. You can still see the video name. And that brings me on to another part of the Zen. It's renaming. Okay, so now that you can see it, you need to be able to see the video one to rename it. Okay, so if you can't, you need to make it bigger. Because if you right click and it's grayed out, it means you haven't made the track big enough. But because I've moved mine to the top, I can see it there. I can say rename. And this is going to be my A roll. Okay, we're gonna have, of course, B roll, uh, B roll even. Okay, you can do the same with your audio tracks. Okay, because there's lots of stuff down here. We're gonna do, need to do some Zen cleaning. Let's do the same thing down here. Right click, customize. So there's a lot more down here, okay? Uh, so if there is things that you use all the time, you can, uh, come on, autosave. But just know that anything in this top line or this top line here can be moved. So you can say, actually, I don't use sync long for audio. Maybe you do for audio and you do use mute, but you use solo, but not very often. Just gonna go down to layer two. Audio one's gonna come up, don't drag him. Say so with A1, he's gonna come over here. Uh, I'll put it at the end bit. I never use the uh, voiceover thing here in Premiere Pro, I very rarely. Okay, so you are gonna go down to the second line as well. 
Okay, so on this top line, I just have sync lock and I have my track name. And actually, let's put mute there as well. Why is it mute there? I think it's tied in there. It's jammed in there using the same position for some reason. I don't know why. It is a little weird. Let's click OK, see what happened. Kind of worked. My sync lock's gone. Let's right click, go to customize. Uh, I leave this in there because it is problematic. <laughs> it's both of those two. Now it's working. Okay, so now look a bit tidier down here. What are you liking? You thinking? And let's say our music track, we just want it to be, you know, I'm not too worried about the music, but the audio, we do need a bit more space to see, okay? Because we want to see and kind of time things. How are we feeling so far? A little bit of zen in there. For this instance, I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger, just before, there you go, just so that I can see the um, thumbnails, so I can turn them off. Who remembers where that is? Okay, it's in one of these two, right? Okay, in here, let's go to show thumbnails. I'm going to turn it off because we're looking for zen. Also, see this line in the middle here? We're gonna look at that later on and turn it back on, but for the moment, let's turn off our keyframes. That's what that is. Okay, get rid of the little line. Let's get rid of the effects. That was in there too, effects badges. Clip names, I'm probably gonna leave that in there. That seems quite useful. I'm gonna leave the keyframes for my audio because I adjust the audio quite a bit using keyframes. Last one is I'm gonna select them all and you guys are all going to be labels of a violet or some other color just to get a bit of zen. Not zen enough. What should be zen enough is Caribbean, but it's too tied to audio for me. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, teal, oh, tropical ocean, look at that. Now the coloring is mainly just here for show to make it look cool on the intro bit because every time you add something new, it's gonna remember its color and you can go and change all these colors, but you might be fighting, uh, you know, fighting a battle because every time you import something it's going to come through new you can go and change the colors and your preferences it depends on how much zen you need out of this uh coloring those labels and just to top it all off and to make everything oh one thing uh i've got this here subtitle you're like i don't have that on mine we do this later on in the course mine's on now because i've already prepped for this course so there's a lot of things are kind of yeah, anyway, uh, if you have got subtitles, because you might be coming back to this video and you might have subtitles there too, you can kind of right click in this gray area here and nope, see it says here, caption track options, click on that and say hide all caption tracks. Oh, even tidier. Look how tidy that is. And now I can have like loads of space, oh, don't change tracks, loads of space here for, you know, for my actual work. Our program monitor is nice and big and to finish it all off we're going to save this timeline layout down here by hitting the little wrench and we're going to say save preset and give it a name this one's going to call dan a short job it's not going to record everything in here mainly just the heights okay let's click ok and that is how we potentially find our kind of calm working area in Premiere Pro. Now just to recap, we only learned two new things in here. We learned how to delete all the tracks. Remember, you right click in here and say, delete, is it track? No, delete tracks, okay? And that will allow you to delete all the empty ones. Okay, and the other thing we learned is we can reorder them. And we also learned that reordering them, okay, by going in here and saying customize is not that friendly, but worth wrestling with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next video. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do want to go further with Premiere Pro, you might want to join me for my larger courses, okay, called Premiere Pro Essentials and Premiere Pro Advanced. There'll be links for both of those in the description. Hope to see you in the course. Bye.